Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Straight Out of a Comic Book. Uh, this is a special edition. I am your host, Dr. Pharaoh Strange. And if you have not seen the names up here, <laughs> clearly we are talking about Dr. Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Now, for anybody watching this, we are about to give spoilers. So if yes. you have not seen this movie, first off, shame on you. Shame, Fuck you. shame you on see you. This. I see yes. it twice. I saw it twice. Same. But Same. if you have not seen it, we're about to spoil, put out spoilers. So go watch one of the other straight out of the comic books. Go watch something from uh, Advice from a Fuck Boy. Any mm. of the amazing content from Dion Lack, Deuce and CT. Just get your ass out of here and don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> now, with that being said, of course, we got the fellas back. Uh, Scarlet Deuce is in the building. Dion mm. Lacks him off. <laughs> Sorcerer Supreme, C.T. Wong, and of course, the uh, foul mouth in any multiverse. <laughs> <laughs> foul mouth in any multiverse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here today. What's going on, fellas? How y'all feeling? Man. Great, man. I I, here's, I'm a, let me answer before this, everybody. I am so shocked. I had no idea Clint Coley was one of us, bro. I swear. Like, Clint, I've known this guy for over a decade. I had no yeah. idea. <laughs> when I saw the email, I was like, Clint Coley is into the world? Listen, I had no just idea. Just to give you some, some, some background. So, first of all, so, CT, I know you're a big wrestling fan. Yes. I was a big 90s, early 2000s wrestling fan. That's mm -hmm. where kind of me and Will Ferrell got our thing going. Like, knowing, like, okay, I still, I like video games, blah, 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 blah. But Marvel stuff, I just didn't read the comics growing up. But, mm -hmm, you know, um, I got into it probably around the time me and Will Ferrell were sharing an office and he would talk about, like, like Marvel. And I'm like, yo, this sound cool. I mean, go check out these movies that I'd never saw before. And I caught up on everything. Then um, started watching. Then, then just got into it. Now I watch. I watch new rock stars. I be. I'm into it. Hey, like, into it. I'm into hey, it. Bro. Like, like, yeah, Eric Boss is my guy. Yeah, I'm into yes. it now. That's so, fire, bro. That yeah, is man. fire. I'm definitely more of a DC guy, but now I got to add your name to the list. <laughs> add me to the list, CT. This is good to know, man. Yes, indeed. Uh, uh, Deuce, how about yourself? How you feeling? Man, you know, living the dream as always, man. You know, just happy to be here. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Dion? Oh, brother, I'm just sitting here trying to win, trying not to sin. You know, that, I'm excited yeah. to talk about this. Hey, fuck yes, you, Dion. I still, I, you still got beat. <laughs> I was I about to give a fuck. We are <laughs> I, beefing. I don't know what's happening here. You know, know exactly what's, what's happening, you son of a bitch. We are beefing <laughs> until. That's the know. until. You like to let us happening. know what's going on, CT? I, yo, okay. So I've been blessed to see another year. My birthday was May 9th. I had, uh, had a get together. Happy and belated. Thank you so much. And, you know, anybody watching that are friends of ours, I want nobody to feel slighted. If anybody hit me on my birthday, I was like, yo, come to the crib. So um Dion's there it's incredible we're having a great time and Dion leaves without saying goodbye dips out from the party everybody know when you go to somebody's birthday party you got to go to the person whose birthday it is say hey I'm about to dip up out of here I don't want to make it a big thing but uh happy birthday brother I'm going and he didn't do that right he left and I'm like hey man I text him like hey bro you disappeared again he said, I'm always going to disappear. He doubled down. He said, I'm always going to disappear. <laughs> this ain't nothing new. This is lag, baby. I'm out. And he disappeared from the text message. He kept it consistent. Uh, <laughs> Dion, and I was like, fuck Dion. <laughs> so who would have thought that Wanda Maximoff would be a good <laughs> <laughs> Because of the trailers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> that's, that's a great. Hey, that yeah, is just a great, that conversation. <laughs> that's a great segue to go ahead and jump on into this thing, man. Of course, we're talking about. Dr. No, let me, let me let's, let's be honest. Let's be honest. When you all right. exit a party, when you exit a party, you do the. All right, man, let me give. Hold on, hold on, one more thing. Let's get let's get a picture real quick. Let's get the picture. Hold up, let's do this. Let's do this. And it's thick in there. 
It is about a, a minimum of 45 people in there, all on the same floor. And it's getting hot. I That's a lot. Like one person, they said, yo, a lot. Man, we got to chop it up. We got to chop it up, man, real quick. Uh, let me get your number. I said, cool. I said, I can see where this is going. If I keep doing this, I'm <laughs> never leaving. So I'm exiting. Mm -hmm. I run into Keenan. We talked for 10 minutes. I said, I'm mm -hmm. glad I, I did this on the outside. Mm -hmm. and, and then I was like, and, and CT, no, I do this. I just leave. I say, I love you. You know, I give you my my blessings, mm -hmm. you know, drop gifts off, and I'm done. I've done everything I need to do. You're not going to give me a hundred percent of you because you're celebrating your, with other people. That's a lot. You ready for this, Pharaoh? First of all, Pharaoh Strange. You. I'm sorry to even say this while we're supposed to be talking about this comic book, but I got to get this bullshit out because Dion's on bullshit. Dion had his birthday. When was your birthday, Dion? Like, come on. Man. <laughs> when, when was your birthday? Tell March people because they might want to celebrate you. March, March when? March 5th. Okay, cool. Now, when we were at Dion's party, oh, not geez, only did I get geez. there early, I stayed until the last person geez. left that motherfucker. You understand? And Dion couldn't pay me the same respect. And that's what I said. Hey, fuck Dion. <laughs> After uh, my birthday. I had a very Dion, exclusive, I had a very exclusive in and out small menu <laughs> Restaurant at my spot. You had a cheesecake factory menu of niggas there. <laughs> <You're> a... <laughs> Man. a cheesecake yeah. factory. <laughs> but see, see, B, uh, you know what? You should have my name today because what you just did to the Sorcerer Supreme is the same thing Strange did into this movie. Yeah. Come on, you, you did, and in. we gonna get into it. You know what Tie I'm talking about? Get into it. We, we gonna get into it. <laughs> All right, so fellas. First off, offhand, I got to know for y'all, yeah. how did you feel after watching the movie? Man, like, I felt, like, can I, you mind if I start? Go yeah. Um, I felt like I got a lot of questions answered, mm. right? I got a lot of questions answered because I've, you know, I've been watching Loki. I've been mm. watching, you know, WandaVision. I've watched, you know, I've watched every show and I've watched everything, every piece of content. Um, and then I'm, I also have, of course, more questions as to, you know, well, what happens when an incursion happens or is an incursion coming or what's happening? You know, that's fine. But for me, I think Marvel did a great job at really introducing the multiverse to people who really don't know what the multiverse is. Like you can watch this Doctor Strange movie and really get a good grasp of the multiverse. And then once you watch maybe other shows more context is tied into it and you'll be like oh wow it's crazy how they tied all this together mm. but i do think that this was a great standalone doctor strange film um it was a lot alone. of you say what you got, it, i won't say stay alone you have to understand wandavision and no i agree and he I also didn't say stay alone he was saying stay alone but keep going uh clint Cole, i was just saying here. as a standalone doctor strange film i felt like you didn't have you did like if you didn't watch like if you didn't watch WandaVision and stuff like that, at least you know what the multiverse is without having to yeah. ask 7,000 mm -hmm. different questions. That's yeah. what I think was 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 answered. And I think because the multiverse is going to be the main the main thing in what we're doing in phase four or five and whatever's coming on later on down the pipe with Marvel. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was all. Mm. I'll say I loved that it was its own pocket situation right yeah, yeah. and what i mean is when you see any of these films that we watch in the past two years they all kind of bled into everybody knows about it right yeah dr strange because it took place in the multiverse and then they went into uh where the sorcerers headquarters are and mm -hmm. you know like all of this stuff was kind of a secret you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Except for the people in the magic world to know, hey man, you just did this. You touched the dark hole. Like, mm -hmm. you know, War Machine ain't gonna know nothing about this Doctor Strange event. Yep. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So I love that. I will say it blew my mind at the end when we saw the eye of Akimoto because it's like, oh shit, what does this mean moving forward? And is this going to be because they, they jump straight into it. Like, I've never seen two back-to-back -back, um, after credit sequences that made sense into each other that fast so it's like in one he got the eye and the next one he's going off with Charlize Theron 
with the eye, like he's already mastered the eye to go handle their incursion. But it's like, okay, are we going to see another Doctor Strange movie immediately? Or are we not going to see Doctor Strange until his third movie comes out to explain what he's about to do now? Yeah. And that's that. I think what, like how you said, how it went right into it. Yeah. I think also for the like the pacing of the movie, like you know, like usually we have it like, okay, is this person a villain? Is this, like I like how immediately they get like, like it was like Man. she had that moment, she was like, oh no, I'm good, I'm good. And then she's like, ah, I fucked up, didn't yeah. I? All right, fuck America it. here Brain with fire. Me. It was like, whoa, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, yo, she turned like it, it's just she just went full villain ASAP, like immediately. immediately. Yeah. And I yeah. love that my it's children. Good. Right. It was just like, it was just, I, I thought that scene was so good because it was just like, it just shows like, oh, we thought that she had that redemption at the end of WandaVision. No, nope. she been, she been on some fuck shit ever since then. <laughs> and, like, and then they called her on it like, your kids aren't real. It's like, what? My kids are real in different universes. And yeah. that's why I need to get to it. It was like, oh shit. Mm -hmm. We just got all the plot immediately. Yeah, she right. still said fuck Vision. She was oh, like, yeah. I could have created Vision. <laughs> found, a, found a universe that had Vision as well. She was like, nah. I just she wanted kids. kids, and that shows you how women feel about the father. <laughs> they don't care about the yeah. man. They don't care about them kids. <laughs> I got. You can even smash White Vision. Where is White Vision? I thought he was gonna show up, bro. I, I want to know where White Vision is. Yeah, is we saw That's him fly off, yeah. but also too, we don't. Uh, we saw him fly off, but we don't know exactly how long it's been since that happened. Uh, since uh the the thing she did in one division, so we don't know I how long therapy. it's actually been. Well, yeah, we somewhere. also don't remember he had a moment, kind of like the you know the uh, he who remains. He had a moment where he like I, I don't know if he felt something or he unlocked something, but that's mm -hmm. remember that's why he flew off. He he went to fly off to go do something specifically. So again, yeah. I, we also got to figure out like where did he go? What is he actually actually what doing? He, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm gonna be honest. Um. I hate to be this guy. Uh oh, I'm with you. I'm oh, with you. well, you about to be this guy. That plot was hella mid. I'm not gonna lie. That plot was hella mid. Now I will give it to them that they found a great gamble on introducing everything else. I did not fully 100 agree with the Scarlet Witch being the full story. Maybe if one one thing I did learn was something that CT said in the previous episode, and I'm going to start moving and doing forward. I'm not watching any more trailers yeah. to any more movies. <laughs> no, I that's, learned my that's, fucking that's lesson. A real thing. I watched the first that's one. The real thing. One. I learned my lesson. I watched because the first I one. I overhyped myself for mm -hmm. this movie and didn't get it. But then when I finished watching, I'm like you know what? For what they're trying to do, they served us the right amount of what we needed to know. But also too. There were things in there I just could not get past. Like one, Wanda's whole mission. Mm. If there's a multiverse, and maybe because I watch Rick and Morty, why would you not go to a dimension where Wanda's sick and you could just take her place? Oh. Why was it this particular world? I mean, and then two, well, you're the Scarlet Witch. Why do you need America's power? You can keep your kids alive forever. Yeah, with mm -hmm. your own powers. Do it again. Yeah. Do your own I didn't understand little, uh, that part. Do your own uh, Vex again, Hex again. <laughs> I so that's like, why I was just like, I but like I feel, the I feel like, I feel like she can't. I, I, I wish I, I wish I Hex again in the I desert. Just, <laughs> do a Hex again in the desert where yeah. she can fuck with nobody else. Because then too, like you see, like she has kids in the multiverse. So yeah. again, her statement technically is true. Like he said, your kids aren't real; they're made for magic. Isn't that how all mothers make children? And it's like that was so a bar. These, that was a that was bar. Like, bar. Where did these other kids come from? So are all of them conjured from magic or does her kids really exist? But I, I think that I think there was I also liked how Marvel painted a little bit of irrationalism to what she was doing, too. Yeah. It mm -hmm. was like, yo, you're 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 looking for your kids, but at, at the expense of what? You know what I'm saying? Like, think about yeah. it. Like traveling the multiverse isn't an easy thing. I know mm -hmm. she was she can only I think her powers only stretch to like getting 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 monsters to get america chavez because she has her power she can usurp her powers so that she can now travel the multiverse and choose whatever one she wants whatever it is, word, her powers did have limitations to it usurper yeah. was amazing brother i want to give you your props on that i don't want that Thank to ever be yeah. overshadowed yeah. so if but she's but been if she's been dream walking for numerous months chasing america chavez mm -hmm. shouldn't there be an incursion with 
all these different worlds because she's more she's the one well, that she wasn't been, dreamwalking. At no, first. she wasn't dreamwalking. She, she was wasn't she was using magic first. to get the monsters to chase America. Oh, America she did. she, was, she, she didn't want to. Yeah. yeah, right. Gotcha. Yeah, she yeah. started dreamwalking on that one version of Wanda, and then right. Doctor Strange started doing the dreamwalking. Yeah. But yeah. I also this is what I love about Marvel films. I'm gonna give them their props as a DC guy. When you look at a Marvel film. They everything means something. Like when they yes. showed uh yes. Wanda, I mean um America come to Doctor Strange's universe and she showed up with that Doctor Strange's body. Cause I remember he fell in behind her, but I didn't think he was gonna go to the same universe as her, and then mm -hmm. they buried him. I'm like, why would they be showing that? And then towards the end of the movie, he was like, Who said it had to be alive? I was like, This is amazing. <laughs> uh, like, okay, everything okay. does okay. is great. And, you know, yeah. and DC, if you don't mind me jumping on that, like everything to me does mean something, and I even think that going forward, like you know, even they specifically used Earth 838, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. that had there's there is there is a specific reason why they specifically landed in Earth 838, and we'll find mm -hmm. that out in, in, in months to come, you know, or years to come. You yeah. know, I think that even just um even having having um America study at the you know commentage or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. She's here's the thing: there's only one America Chavez in the entire multiverse, yep. multiverse yeah. one, and now Earth six one six technically is the most. You know, can anybody else do uh time travel like that? And we know who can travel through multiverse very easily. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kang the yeah. Conqueror. Mm -hmm. Kang yeah. is the only one who can travel through. He, I mean, through his. Because don't forget, he comes. He doesn't come till the thirty first century. I'm assuming, right? Well, te technically, that's when he's created. But then too, you have to go off of if time is linear and if it's not linear. And like they say, like in this thing, time isn't linear. So the thirtieth century could have happened even before our time. Technically, exactly. So yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Well, okay, so time, and that's that was going. Yeah, so time is not linear in the multiverse. So like. Uh, Okay. So looking at it, when you look at the Doctor Strange film, you look at all the events, you look at America Chavez, she learned how to use her powers truly at the end. It's like, now what does this mean? Because we all know, just to jump back to the 838, greatest fan casting of yes. all oh, time. Yes. 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 John yes. Krasinski. We because been asking for years. Oh, for years. it was so good. And it we were like, so this good. will never happen. And, and then that motherfucker popped on screen. I screamed. Yeah. You, did. you did. I my whole, my, my whole I, I was, was in the theater that clapped. We all yeah. clapped. My theater yeah. erupted. I, we it, shouted. It was funny because, so CT, because you don't watch the trailers, when the yeah. trailers was coming out, there was a lot of theories on like, oh, you know, who, who else is going to be in Illuminati, mm -hmm. right? And one of the theories yeah. was you want to get a different version of T'Challa. So what was funny in mm -hmm. my theater is when Black Bolt showed up, it was a few people that said, oh, and I was like, oh, <laughs> yo, I was like, Man. yo, I was the only one excited to see Black Bolt, but I also understand what you're saying, Deuce, because I was like, yo. Who is this Mexican nigga playing him? And it was yeah. like, I was like, yeah, where I seen him from? And then it's the I same was, guy, yeah. same guy, yeah, original though. Inhuman series. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah. he he looked like he worn yeah. out. Like he's yeah, yeah. from That's the right. same series. Yeah. Yep. Oh, it's like that short lived uh, Marvel series. I was like, oh, they used him. <laughs> but it's also, shocked. nobody I was, was happy. To, go ahead, Clint. I was shocked they used Maria Rambeau. You know I love that. Oh, yeah, I, I loved it, it but I, I was it. shocked. I didn't know they were going to go it because uh, Maria Rambeau or even no variant of, of Captain Marvel is in the Illuminati. And you know what I'm saying? So, or is that is that not in the comic? I don't think that's in the comics. I don't think. No, not the original set. No. Yeah. And my thing to my thing to that was I was like, oh, OK, I see what they're doing with the symbolism. And, you know, there is a black woman who makes decisions on the Illuminati, too. I like yeah. that. Love um, it. I also thought I was going to get a variant of Tony Stark. Come so on, that's man. The, the, so that's exactly what we thought. In the trailer, yeah. that's what Tom, people Tom thought. Cruise. That's why I said. You, because yeah. you didn't watch the trailer, CT, you didn't yeah. have that moment of being like, no. oh, that's such and such. Because they thought it was, uh, was it Ultimate? Not Ultimate Arm. Superior Iron Man. Superior, Superior Iron Man. Superior Iron Man. Iron Man. It was supposed to be Tom Cruise. That was a fan. fan yeah, they thought fan it was going to be Tom Cruise. Cruise. Well, the, right, the writer, too, also wanted that written in. But there is a thing that they said. So if you notice in the movie, when he walks in, a lot of people kind of skim passes. But like you said, CT, everything in Marvel is meant for a reason. Mm -hmm. If you notice, there was an empty chair. I noticed that immediately. Yep. 
And so a yep. lot of people tried to do like, well, no, that's just Doctor Strange's thing. And no. so they just left that in his memory. It's like, no, they replace Illuminati members. Mm -hmm. And so the question and then was, don't forget. yeah, who's in, bad, who's bad, in that work. seat? No, 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 you good. Who's in that seat? Because you still got Namor, who's supposed to be coming in Black Panther 2. Uh -huh. You still got Black Panther, but also that leaves Superior Iron Man there because they never really uh, put together who made the Ultron program in this? That's what program. I was getting ready to say. Yep. Yeah. Just, just, let's be. They're using Stark. That's Stark Tech. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's or Doctor Pym was he was the original one. Yeah. And yeah, Pym, see, yeah. Yeah. See. And that's the thing that we don't know because what it kind of seems like is a lot of eight th or Earth eight three eight seems like it is a lot of our classic stuff. And so it's no. not a coincidence that you gave us '90s Charles and you're bringing back and the, the '90s X Men. Yeah, so there's yeah. some, so that means X-Men are on this planet, the Fantastic Four are yeah. on this planet, the inhumans exist mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. this planet. Are you ready? More are you son of a bitch? <laughs> are you ready for this though? <laughs> now we get to the hard question, guys, which is how. Right, because when we see them in 838, we're like, all right, cool, we got X Men, we got Professor X, we got Monica Rambo, we have Black Bolt, but I mean, Fantastic Four, but in the 616 universe, how are they going to explain having X Men all of this time? How are they going to explain having in humans? How are they going to explain the, fan the Fantastic Four is probably the only uh logical explanation when they do their film as far as origin story, yeah. but not the X Men. So how you. are they going to do it? I got to say this. Oh, my I got bad. you. Watch this. This is how they're going to do it. They're going. It's, it's going to be a problem in 616 that is going to require all the powers that the Illuminati have. Dr. Strange is like, I know somebody that can help. We got to find somebody who has these powers yep. in a different universe. And, and see, that's, that, that's, that's what I was thinking, too. Like, do you, the how, I believe that whatever happened in the multiverse, because remember, everything that happens has a... Uh, oh, oh, shit. What? Say that one more time. <laughs> no, say it one more time. <laughs> Start of the year, you broke any, up. Any, anything that happens in the multiverse, it, 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 there's an effect that happens. Like, there's a cause and effect. And because of everything that happened in this movie, I bet you that some, there, whatever, hap everything that happened is going to result in like I said, either they're going to need the, the Illuminati and Doctor Strange going to be like, oh, you know what? I know that there's these people who have these specific set of powers, and that's what's going to explain, like, oh, now we have mutants. Like, I think it's going to be, it's not going to be anything big. Like, we always think it's going to be something big that causes mutant. I feel like it's going to be something like that, like the events of either Spider-Man or, or Doctor Strange cause this like I said, incursion caused these anomalies, caused these mutants and these people to have to manifest more powers. I think it's probably going to manifest like that. I disagree, I think, and I'm gonna tell you why I disagree. Go ahead, Clint Coley. Oh, well, I was gonna say two things. I think also I, I agree with that theory, right? But let's take it a step further. We know what's coming up down the pike in with Marvel, you know, mm -hmm. like next month, we're about to get uh we're about to get the mar we're about to get uh Captain uh Miss no, Marvel. 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 We're about to get Miss Marvel, right? How was Ms. Marvel created? She's an inhuman, technically, if I'm mm -hmm. not mistaken. Yeah. She is, but that they, they have tweaked her story to where there's a different way she's gonna get her powers. Yeah. All right. So so, but I mean, maybe we might we might see how inhumans happen in this story. Yeah. We don't know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I also think that yes, uh, because with, with Earth 838, real quick, don't forget only four the four members of four members of the Illuminati died. Doc uh, doc, uh Professor X, um uh, Black Bolt is dead. Uh, all of Peggy's, them. No, no. Peggy's Reed dead. Richards, no, all, of all of them. Mordo's not dead. Oh. Mordo, yeah. Mordo's all Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mordo's yeah. not dead. And my He's thing is, also, they have to fit. And then also, they still have a whole situation there they have to figure out. So my thing is, I do think, I think that there's going to be, I don't know if there's going to be conflict. I, 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 It might be. I think I can see conflict between Earth 616 and Earth 838, and that's how mutants are in, introduced. Anyway. Well, that's secret. That's the, the, the secret, secret wars. wars. That's yeah. secret wars. So it, eventually, I believe that that's what we're going to get up to. Okay. But here's the thing. So let me go back to, man, Clint, you added another layer to this. So one, I disagree with Deuce because I don't think that, because you got to remember how many mutants there are. True, They're yeah. not just going to say, 
all right, cool. Let's bring the entire world of mutants over to 616 for this one event, and then y'all go back to y'all world. I don't think that'll happen. I do think because of the incursion and because we know what happens with anomalies, just like when we dealt with the CW universe of DC, when all of these... uh. Our multiverse is different than Marvel's, so we kind of collapsed onto one planet. Yep. So with that happen, it made sense for every superhero to be on Earth. So something similar would have to happen for that particular universe to maybe collide with the 616 universe for mutants to exist. And then to Clint Coley's point, when you see that mortals alive, that means that other members have to be replaced. And is there going to be a situation where it's even more beef that you've killed our professor X because the yeah. mutants, all of them respect him. He's damn near the leader yeah. outside mm -hmm. of a uh, Magneto. So I mean, that universe only though. You what know, do you they, mean? They, there's several Dr. Strangers. So I'm sure there's another professor Xavier. No, of course there's different, but we're talking but about saying, that particular He's saying universe. the wrath of 838 though. Yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not coming. Yeah. I don't think that there, there's going to be consequences for, for that nigga dying. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Or for all of them dying. Oh, sure. yeah. Yeah. Like a fool. <laughs> because you gotta think too also that 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 universe is uh kane because remember in secret wars that's what that's what he who remains was explaining and it was like it was me i'm scared of me and it was multiple me's that started this war before Oof. and so think yeah. about this way because kane one of the things that he wants one of his biggest drive depending on which king that you you're looking at he wants to make sure that his universe survives so now you took you took away one of his his strong his strong soldiers that king may be the one that leads the charge into the secret wars like nah all right y'all came y'all came to us and y'all y'all start killing off some of our top members so now we got to we got to bring the fight back to y'all so here's the crazy thing with that so now that means that earth 616 was the i guess the world that remained technically right well, he got and what regard? I'm gonna I'm 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 get yeah. I'm gonna get into that. So like he who remains has to be the. You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. I so hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. That's when you know it's about to be some bullshit. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> when the Cause, hands go up. Because <laughs> what CT said kind of opened this up, like y'all said. I think they are leading to a secret war, and I think the war is gonna be between six one six and eight three eight. And it's gonna take place within the dark dimension. Mm. That's what I think is happening right now. And I think what's going to happen is we're gonna be introduced to mutants in 838. And I think we're going to get the house of MC because there's no way Scarlet Witch is dead because oh, no. I think Wanda died. So Scarlet Witch is still here. So there's no telling where that. And then, two, what a lot of people did not think catch is now that the dark hold is destroyed. Where does all of that chaos magic go? This, and then this, also with her gone, Agatha Harkness is freed again. And man. she's getting her own series. Yep. This is what's bothering me right now. It's too much A story in the MCU right now. Because we still got like the scrolls. We still got the eternal dude with the hand coming out. Mm -hmm. uh, we yeah. got Those like, are the B stories. I mean, but no, these I'm talking about like they're too major. It's not like. Oh. Like Iron Man one, but isn't that comic book? Kill off somebody real quick. They're, these are major events. Like imagine yeah. that dude, what's his name, Ursula? They, they came out of Eternals. Yeah. Doctor Strange would have got there immediately. This is a major problem. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, these are huge events. That is is too like the scrolls, like the Dark Hole is like in Spider Man is like you know the, the different universe Loki timelines. It's too many major. Big project, you can't just be like, My story is important, <laughs> but see, well, that's you know what why I think it, is also don't forget, we're supposed to get a second season of What If, right? Yep, and mm -hmm. that also don't forget that. Don't forget one thing that I like about Marvel 2 again, everything's for a reason. We yeah. thought what a lot of people thought What If was just going to be an animated series spin off yeah. of literally exactly what it is, What If, but we yeah. see no Peggy Play Carter, the yeah, there's that's a real thing, like. Yeah, or they, I they pulled, pulled a lot of elements from that series. Yeah. Right. Don't forget, there's a there's a that means there's also a uh uh there's also uh a, 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 if that if that means they're pulling a lot from that series, there's also a multiverse or universe where Ultron did win and Ultron Ooh. is a comic cosmic being. Yeah, and, and you gotta win. remember they he's not the only and he can travel through different multiverses, you yeah. Know what and, I'm we, and we saw them we saw them fly into the, the, the animated universe when they was going through different yeah. universes. Yeah, dog, like that's what I'm saying. It had things, these things happen. 
All I'm going to say is this. I also think on top of us, we'll go into a secret world. The other, the, I think the next major Marvel crossover film has got to be the Young Avengers. Um, just yeah. because of oh, yeah. how they, many they, of them we're seeing pop up in, in the, the last world. year. I, well, yeah. I think, I, yeah, and I think too, that's going to lead into, because for me, it, it now, after even seeing like America Chavez in here, she has to get her own series. Mm-hmm. Like they, they've already yeah. established to where like you already had a main plot. She's going to find her, her parents. Yeah. And so leading into that, Love there's that. a lot of stuff you can clear up, clean up, and Ooh. introduce yeah. us to. And then to, <laughs> yeah. but to, to, to go to what Dion was saying about everything being big, it goes back to what we said in the, in the last episode. Remember, we was talking about comic books and Marvel. Mm-hmm. I mean, not last episode, the last Marvel one we did, but we were saying that it feels like the MCU is just comic books in general. Like, it's like, it, it's a different universe. It's, it doesn't, it, it's, mm-hmm. it's loosely based off of the comic books, but mm-hmm. this MCU is literally comic books in movie form. So yeah, I agree. if you think about comic books in, in just in general, there's always big storylines. There's always what's going on. I think that that's why, you know, if you are a fan of, of comic books, you are in love right now. And that's why, and I told people, I said, I don't think I'll ever get that Marvel fatigue because I was, I was able to separate it. Like, you know, I'm now I don't look for that 100% accuracy in MCU. It's just like, let me see your take on it. It's, it's, it's essentially somebody else. That, this is all Kevin Feige's run, you know, well, and then phase one, two and three was a smooth timeline. It was, it was nothing that was so big that distracted it you from, you know that happened in Thor. What happened in like uh, Captain America? But they were they were kind of like very of small, minuscule villains that yeah. didn't distract the world. Mm-hmm. But now that we have like the multiverse and all stuff like that, that's when it's like, oh shit! How can you ignore this? <laughs> the only thing I can say that's saving them, they had that five year gap. So a lot yeah. of this stuff could be happening w- w- during the blip. Yeah. So yeah. they didn't have help from other Avengers and stuff. So so I think that's how they can kind of cheat away by saying this happened while during everybody was blipped. And, I, and, I, and I'll say, I'll say this too, Dr. Too, like I, I think also with that, you know, I, here's the thing, you know, they have a lot of there's like, okay, that the phase one, two, and three, I believe. Again, we all know that was to lead up to Thanos, right? Mm-hmm. Marvel. I, if I'm going to go by that same track record, I do believe that there's there, you you want a big villain, and, and we all know that Kang is the next big villain. Also, I don't reason, know. Here's why I, I don't that. know. Here's why I say that you're not going to waste that. Like, and I'm, I'm looking at this from a Hollywood perspective, right? Mm-hmm. You know, they got Jonathan Majors playing this guy, mm-hmm. right? Jonathan Majors right now is a list. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And he's arguably one of the best actors in the business. You know what I'm saying? To have this guy going to be able to play three or four different variants of himself, talking about he who remains. Actual Kang the Conqueror, blah 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 blah. I do believe Marvel is trying to lead us up to this big villain. Like, don't forget they hinted at it in Loki just with his statue. Oh yeah, of how big this man really is. Oh, that's a I statue. Think he's a- <laughs> yeah, but no, I, I know. I, I, it was like it's like. Yeah, but they gave a black man a statue, so you know that means something. That's, it, it, that's something. <laughs> that is huge. Loki too. But CT, what were you about to say before I chime? So man, God, here's the thing, man. Clint keeps fucking introducing me to the so now okay. My bad, my bad. All right, it's fine. <laughs> Let me address that first. So have you ever seen um Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, the uh the animated series, Clint? You've never watched it. I'm sorry. I got All right. I'll go check it out. No, it's fine. Go watch that the moment we finish this episode. Because if you watch that and you see how they show Kang the Conqueror, then you'll understand why we're while it's possible he could be a big bad, he's not going to be the big bad. I feel like he's going to be more of Avengers 2 with like Ultron because he was introduced in Loki. He's going to be an Ant-Man and we'll see how he moves from that point. But Kang mm-hmm. is more of a always going to be around guy. He's Kang. he's almost like the next Loki. That's yeah. you, you literally just took the words out of my mouth. Kang yeah. is okay. literally okay. the next Loki. Yeah, yeah. but the doing. cosmic joint. So this is my first point. Uh, Eternals for me to what Deuces uh, introduced was my fatigue. Like by the time Eternals came out, it was the only Marvel movie I that they've late. ever released that I was like, I'm not about to go. I'll watch that when I get to it, right? And, that's what and I then did. I see it and I was like, all right, this was cool, but it wasn't, they introduced so much 
if you weren't truly a Marvel head, you don't know. And again, I'm a DC guy. I, I enjoy Marvel, but I'm a DC guy. But at the end of that film, when they showed the Celestials and they showed that mm-hmm. hand coming through the water, that shit was so creepy and large to me. <laughs> yes. That I was you like, how? That. You can't ignore that. Yeah. You can't ignore that. So just like oh. Dion said, somebody would have been to that immediately. Yeah. So it's like, now are they telling us that uh, um, that Exactly. Silver Surfer's guy, uh, Galactus. 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 Are they telling us Galactus is the next guy? Because if that's the case, that's ten to twelve to fifteen years away. Because yeah. they still got to introduce uh, Fantastic Four and X Men to even deal with that cosmic level threat. Silver Surfer. Well, well, that well, that's another reason why I think that's not the next big bad either. It yeah. is probably the person that runs the Secret Wars, which is uh, not the Collector, but the other one that's around with them and stuff, if they're still going to use that. And what gave that away for me is when they showed them uh, when America Chavez and then were uh, going through the uh, different dimensions, yep. there's a dimension where they show the Living Tribunal. Good living, just they do. The and so about the Beyonder, and, right? The, the Beyonder? Yeah, the Beyonder. Yeah, the Beyonder. And so they've already shown us some of these celestial beings already. So the Beyonder can also be a tie-in to the fact of with Eternals. And I think that's what Eternals was really trying to introduce was the celestial hierarchy that we haven't seen yet. Because the only thing we've really seen from that is, of course, the Asgardians and of being like the gods and stuff like that. There's gods and there's the Titans. Look like we're supposed to get a Zeus popping up in, uh, in Thor, in the next Thor. Right. So, yeah. yeah, played I, by Russell Crowe. I tell you, this is the three next bigs. It's going to be King Conqueror. Dr. Doom. Yep. Then Galactus. Here's the thing. But okay, for us to have a Dr. Doom, we got to have a Fantastic Four. I mean, that's, and that's we, what happened soon. We know they're doing the movie, right but Dr. Doom, I understand and I almost agree with you, but Dr. Doom is such a massive villain. He's also somebody yeah. who doesn't go away. So it's like, Dr. Doom is almost neck and neck with a Galactus because you can't just fight a Galactus like bing, bing, bow, bow. Mm-hmm. Dr. Doom, <laughs> you know, you can't hit it with a bing, bing, bow, bow. You got to hit it with something else. So, <laughs> with the bing, bing, bow, bow. So, uh, go ahead. <laughs> well, no, I was going to say, the, to here's how I think what Dr. Doom is actually going to be the equivalent. And be, with, you, me, with me and you being DC, I feel like Dr. Doom is going to be like a Vando Savage type character. Uh, where when we get introduced yeah. to him, he'll be a bad, but he'll eventually end up being the one that's orchestrating so much shit behind the scenes that by the time we get to him, and it's like you realize how much power Dr. Doom actually has and how much influence that he has had on everything. You know, yeah. I yep. think it's going to be something like that. And it are and it already can lead to that just to go off of what he said because of seeing Reed Richards in A3A. Then that means there is a Doctor Doom that exists. And who says yeah. Nathan Richards can't go to him or hasn't went to him already? Because that's technically in in one part his uncle in in a story in uh in one of the yeah. timelines during the Egyptian times. Yep. Uh, Doctor Doom is actually his uncle. And they, but that's yeah. what also that's what also makes me believe though too. What happened with this uh incursion stuff is a loop, and it was something new rock stars actually mentioned with Dermamu and yep. Dermamu actually being a variant of Strange. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, know. so that's yeah. the thing. So it's like that. So, like the theory that new rock stars has, and I thought this was dope, and I really wanted to bring this to them. So, shout out to them was that when the first Doctor Strange happened, when he went to go bargain with Dormammu. Their theory is that supre- superior strange from 838, that's the person he was dreamwalking, was our Doctor Strange when he went talk to Dermammu. Mm. And so that put us in an infinite loop that continued to cause that incursion until Loki broke it by killing He Who Remains. And oh, that's man. why stuff started to branch off. And that's what I think those branches are causing an incursion, not only in the multiverse, but in the different dimensions that they have. Because you remember those pockets of dimensions between the multiverses. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes, that's true. And luckily, that's his voice, too. He was playing the Mark. Yeah, he Marvel. was. He was. So, so they so already set it up. We so, also... That's brilliant. We also... Uh, we haven't talked about this part aspect of the movie yet, but Sam Raimi did his damn thing. Woo! Redemption. Man. Oh my God! Yeah. No, when Seriously. when when Scarlet came out the 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 reflections and she was on something like Pennywise moving, yeah, 
I was yeah. like, yo, like there, I heard people legit like jump scare scream. No, I, I gotta get credit where credit is due though. Um, and I know CTO love this. If it wasn't for DC setting that groundwork like that, because when I watched it, I was like, yeah. this is what DC do. And y'all yeah. finally doing something. Because like people tried to push it as a horror film. I was like, it definitely had the horror elements, but it yeah. wasn't but scary. But I'm like, no, right. you're just doing what DC is doing. You're showing, showing us more the blood. You're showing, you're showing more blood. Yeah, and I was like, yo, that's what so, they also was kind of hard to set in, which is like, yo, she really killed all these people. She, yeah. though, and the way she killed them. Like, oh, here's the thing. Like, first of all, Peggy shout out her own shield. Her, it cut her in half. I respect the fact that they gave the black woman the least gruesome death. <laughs> I agree with that. It, wasn't it was her. respectable, it wasn't. bro. It was very respectable. She's, she drained all her powers, made her human, yeah. and threw a building on her. But <laughs> you, you see, so with uh, with Mister Fantastic, she turned that motherfucker to spaghetti. That's yeah, number one. Yeah, he go. He then go. you see, uh, Captain Britain got sliced in half with her own shield. Professor X got his neck snapped. We yeah. saw Doctor Strange. Well, um, that snap ripped apart. Ripped apart. Now here's the thing. The problem wait, wait, is missed, when Black Bolt, Black Bolt, oh, yeah, let's say Black Bolt, Black Bolt. When Black Ooh. Bolt, yeah, his fucking head exploded. But the problem with Black Bolt, before I even finish this point, Black Bolt is supposed to be able to say, ah, and that destroys you. Yep. So the fact that they had him yeah. say a whole sentence, I'm like, get the fuck out of here. That's that would have destroyed everybody around. <laughs> well, no, the yeah. fact that he breathed when he was saying that, and nothing happened. It was yeah. Like, I was like, that's the only thing that I find a flaw in. But then when Monica, <laughs> when Monica got drained and then she got hit by the building, then the building fell on her and you saw her arm just go. I was like, that's respectful. That's better than that. <laughs> yeah, that's respectful. <laughs> Why do she did all this in pajamas? But she, no, she was in mom <laughs> jeans. She was in mom jeans and no shoes. No socks. No, no socks. Though. She was, she was Indian style in a throne, just chilling. Just <laughs> bro, let me like, tell you, the dog. strongest heroes in this hood just. Bro, oh, I've yeah, never yeah. seen yo. I, but you know what I think is dude, that says a lot too. Let's talk about Marvel and and them. Like me watching Avengers: Age of Ultron and watching where her powers started there, yeah, and where oh, her yeah. powers are now. Yeah. Don't forget, in Endgame, she almost snapped Thanos apart by herself. Oh, he, 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 he was stressed. He was like, he had to call. He said, <laughs> yeah, he, he said, stressed. nigga, just do it. Like right. he, but he that, killed half his army because of her. Yeah. <laughs> And she right. was distracted. If she, she wasn't is, distracted she and mourning, she probably could have demolished oh him by herself. Yeah. And, and her they showed in that. Infinity War. If she, you know, saying she could have killed him in Infinity War before he got the before he right. even got the uh, yeah. To, she uh, just she wasn't which, she, she wasn't it? as good as her powers yet. But my thing exactly. is no, but you know, but you know what too though, which let me know, uh, Vision is really black because that was some old manipulating fuck boy shit he did right there. Because he could have definitely told her like, yo, first off. Fuck him up. You ain't <laughs> yeah. gotta you ain't gotta rip shit out of my head. Fuck Dr. Strange. Don't rip shit out of my head. Yeah. Yeah. You're not stabbed. Yeah. Kill him. <laughs> Kill him. The fact that it's like, yo, my your first thought, you should rip my living thing out of my head. Ooh. What? You the reason for all of this making dumbass decisions. Although Man, too, we just dumbass decisions. You know Although too, we about, just can't forget she's this, fucking this a robot. is something that bothered she's me. Robot. Dr. Strange. And, and 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 Wanda, they never met before. You notice that, right? They only met yeah, each other yeah. on the battlegrounds. And I was like, well, how do they know each other? They talking about no, hey, no. Hey. Technically, they did not. They didn't cross path on the battleground either. They were just fighting together. Yeah, the only time so I, you I could like, really probably they say they met. This is not a strange, no, 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 no. bro. The Stark, only Stark way is the the portals. I guess not even just the well, no, portal. No, no, I'm saying Stark, Stark's funeral too is where he met her because they. I mean, oh, that's okay. a possibility as well. But the true thing you got to look at: Doctor Strange saw every possible outcome mm -hmm. on how they beat Thanos, and he knew who was involved. He knew the players, and that's mm -hmm. how. Yeah, like and he, he knew. From and, yeah, and he showed in uh what it was. I think it was Thor. Uh, Thor Ragnarok. Like right. it's very. He, he keeps track of everybody. Everybody so like he doesn't he know what about the hex. What did you say? He knew about Westview too. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But he also knew he was in a hex when he got there because he was like, it almost smells real. But what no. really, but what really shocked me was she's not in the same place after one No, ever. Because originally she was behind mountains. This was there's no mountains behind there's her. Nowhere, yeah. So, so where is she this time? A lot of people think she may have went back to Sokovia. I can see that. And how do you find but, her? 
the brilliant. This is Doctor Strange. How dare you? Yeah, that's that Strange. Right. Yeah, like he well, he right. found here's, Thor's here's daddy. My here's my question for <laughs> yeah. everybody. I got a question for everybody. Can Wanda get stronger? Yeah. 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 Because, because Wanda's the strong, so Wanda is the strongest being in Marvel. Yeah, and one of the things I mean, I don't know how they're going to put it in, but like. Elizabeth Olsen says she wants to say no more mutants, right? And that is probably one of the most biggest flex in comic book history. The fact that she said that and mutants but, just was gone. But like, that's why I say yeah. that. But that's why I bring up that secret war with 838. Yeah. I think that's what's going when she's going to get to say it. Because I also think 838 is causing incursions with other universes. Because That's what they you think it's eight three eight. You don't think it's with the dark hole. No, I think it's eight three eight, and I think eight three eight knows what they're doing because it was like my whole thing was I, I got a very creepy feeling from them. It's like yo, I feel like they put all of that on Strange to take that blame. Because they all like they've been through some shit. They all right, like and, and it's like Modo that. already said, I know what the dark hold is, and it's like, yo, your feelings for Strange didn't change throughout the multiverse. So right. y'all know more than what y'all are leading to, and so mm -hmm. I think y'all are also causing incursions with yep. other universes. I agree with that, and let's go a step further with that too. Like, don't forget, they had a whole scientific lab dedicated, yep. and don't forget, Doctor Christine was literally specifically multiversal stuff don't forget mm -hmm. on earth 616 the multiverse is kind of like it's not a new theory but it's like we don't have the tech or we don't yeah, know they, don't know about it. Yeah, it's they just a that universe and then don't forget too they weren't the illuminati of the multiverse they were just the illuminati of earth 838 there is no illuminati on earth 616 right For we don't we know, know. Right, as not right yet. now, we not, don't know. No, not yet. Yeah, but yeah. but you see what I'm saying. My thing yeah. is so so. I do agree with you, Will. Earth eight three eight is the one that's doing the incursions based on what Strange was doing with the Dark Hole back then. And I think he incur don't forget they sent them two places with incursions. Mm -hmm. So that's this why, fellas, fellas, I, I got I got to go. I have a meeting. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, no, you good to go, bro? Yeah, yeah dipping yeah, out again, yeah. huh? On the disappearance. Yeah. Side. I was just going. I was just going to leave. <laughs> That's what I'm about to say. I was like, at least, at least he didn't just leave. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and I was sitting here like, uh, Dio? Dio? Man. And they just wait for him to get him back. Well, speaking of the movie, man, I feel like it was a great film, but I didn't get enough multiverse action. Like, it seemed yes. like when they got to 838, that's what it was. I'm like, yeah, I, I agree with that. Land? I agree yeah. with that. It wasn't enough mad madness in that sense. It was yeah, like, where's we the madness? Three, we only went to three worlds. It was like, yo, yeah. I got that little montage yeah. you gave us, but it's like, yo, drop us in these things. Give yeah, us let us see other minutes. people. Because yeah. by, by that movie coming out, we already know the Spider-Man uh, was supposed to come out after Doctor Strange. But at the same time, because the Spider-Man movie was so massive and, the, you know, Toby and Andrew alone yeah. were, you know, perfect. Yeah. So yeah. with this film... When you call it the multiverse of madness, mom dropping on Mother's Day, make uh, Wanda the villain is massive. But at the same time, you got to give us more cameos. I just caught that, bro. Yeah, mom. Right. <laughs> I right. did not, and that kind of goes was, with like the whole like it's like the underlying theme of motherhood. That's real. Damn, like, I ain't even. Damn, wow. damn. Yo. Yeah. All right, yep. CT. So it's like, I wanted to see more cameos. I want to yeah. see different variants. Like, so, okay, cool. You couldn't give us Tom Cruise because of scheduling. All right, I respect it. But <laughs> you couldn't give us Wolverine in jacket so he ain't got to go to the gym. You couldn't give us, um, you couldn't, who else did I want to see? I would have loved to see Human Torch had always been one of my favorites. And that's why I loved yeah. when Chris Evans was Human Torch in the Fantastic Four movies. He was the only good thing about those damn movies. But like, yeah, show me those. Give me an Edward Norton Playing the Hulk, I know he had time. Like so, right. that's where it was. Yeah. Or yeah. even just, I, I would love to see that. Like, I love the scene where Doctor Strange sees. I guess that's Supreme Strange with the third eye. Yeah. And yeah. my thing is, I would love to see them going against each other in different multiverses. Like, I wanted to see more of that. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Like, I would love to see a different, you know, or him meet another Iron Man in another universe. Mm -hmm. It didn't even have to be Tom Cruise. It could have just been yeah. you meet another arrogant ass tony stark or yeah, you, yeah. Another, you know what i mean i would love to see like, like you know what i'm saying like that yeah, yeah i do agree with that it wasn't yeah yeah wasn't they, they, they dropped they dropped the ball on it with throwing us those things getting us ready for it and then not giving it to us like even like america saying i've been to over 70 different universes 
and you can't control your power. So it's like, I get what y'all were saying. Like, she can, you have controlled it this entire time. It's like, man, let her have some screw ups and fall Wait, into some different worlds. But I got a question. And then lead that. to that. Cause I'm like, what level? Cause remember, she still, up until the end, she didn't grasp her power, right? So it means that every you that she went to, she went through by accident. Right. So what's the level of scare? Like, is it like if you say if we hop out and say surprise, does she jump into a new universe? Or is like like what's the level of scare? Yeah. Because I think I the comic she guys are going to definitely calm her down and understand how she can yeah. like they're going to use that. And then don't forget, now they have somebody who can travel through the multiverse, they have an upper mm -hmm. hand at the comic you know Yeah, saying? now they can teach her how to truly fight. Because my thought was, and you said this earlier, Will. If they give her her own movie or a series, you have to have other people, not Avengers, but you got to have other superheroes with her to yeah. fight because she's not a fighter as a character. And it's like from that movie, I love her face. I love her energy. I love her acting, but, she but she's not strong enough to carry anything by herself because she can't well, fight. Well, that's it. They, that's it. They choose to not give her other stuff. So like in the comic book, she has super strength and flight. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, so I don't know if they're gonna give her that in this one, but that was wow. the reason why. Yeah, but that that's why I see why they pushed her so hard to be put in here, and just like how Clint had mentioned, like the Young Avengers, like we saw Kate Bishop already, and then we saw yep. uh, Isaiah Bradley's uh grandson yep. who plays Patriot. Yep. So we've already yep. starting to see a couple of them in there. So I get and why they did Wanda's it. Wanda's kids, Wanda kids, because um, yeah, Wicked. No, not yep. Wicked. Wicked. Yeah, Wicked shows up. Yeah, yeah I think I, it is Wicked. I, I gotta hear me out. Because with America right. Chavez and with her being able to jump to different uh, universes and, and and things like that, her show could be that. Her show could mm -hmm. be where we get to see all those variants, all those fan casting. Mm -hmm. It would be her under, like jumping into those different universes. Then, like you said, we may get those alternative alternate versions of like, you know, you know, Ed Norton's Hulk or Tom Cruise as Iron Man, you know, because then it's not a big movie thing. It's just the all right, this episode, I'm in this universe. Oh, I run to Iron Man. Oh, it's this. It could be like that. So, so with that one, what you're saying, I, I still have to go with CT's uh thing when it comes to Marvel of, of making sure you're at the right pace of what Kevin Feige is giving you. So, with you saying that, I think that would happen, but I think that would happen with more lower characters. I won't call mm -hmm. them lower, but True. I could yeah, see, I see her that. running into Daredevil, yeah, Luke Cage, oh, yeah. the Agents yeah. of yeah. Shield. Yeah, yeah. I could see her, her running, running into those versions. Yeah of people on the show and then of course you got maybe one of those two big yeah. cameos that come into the series and stuff like that like honestly did like you we in the hear me out thing i think that would be one of the funniest ones for her to run and introduce deadpool into the mcu that, that would be, be crazy that, that, that would be hilarious yeah i got it. so i have a question then so now dr strange was is, was the it's technically Marvel's last biggest film. I would would you say Thor is the next big film? I don't wouldn't say that it is. I would say that their next big blockbuster coming is probably going to be Black Panther or Ant Man, right? No, or and that's no. what I'm so I'm, I'm asking y'all, what do y'all feel like is going to be the mm. next? It's like so for me, Spider Man answered a little bit, but Doctor Strange gave me more of what I know they're trying to do. Brought you know you know on a broad perspective. So I guess my question to you is, what's the next movie or show that's going to give us a broad perspective of what phase four, phase five, and what, what's happening coming up next? Here's the thing. Yeah. I hear exactly what your points are, but Black Panther is not going to get... Black Panther has too much work to do with fixing yeah. its own story more so than mm -hmm. telling you the story for the universe. The only thing we'll get out of that is Namor, but... Don't, well, no, no. We're also going to get Iron Lad in that, too. And the only reason why I know that is because... Mm -hmm. They were filming in Boston. And who the fuck is Iron Lad? And then I'll give you the rest of my phone. Oh, Riri, the yeah, black, Riri. Uh, the black. Oh, the black yeah. Gotcha, yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Because her yeah, and yeah. Uh, T'Challa's sister are going to be going to MIT along yeah, with sense. Mary Jane, too. And uh, yep. uh, uh, uh Ned, yep. yep, they all at MIT so, together. This yes. is good to know. So, with that, so the reason I say they have so much to do within their own story, they wouldn't be on some Doctor Strange, shit. but Thor, you got to remember. Oh, I'm sorry. Ant Man is going to introduce a lot as well because that's dealing with time as well as like that's setting up some other shit. So I'll I'm give you, I'll give you Ant Man as a possibility for the really next big blockbuster. But you got to think about Thor. Thor 
is just getting started and because he just hit his stride with Ragnarok. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy to say that because this is Thor 4 really? and Thor has been there since the very wow. beginning. Yeah. But Thor mm -hmm. 1 was like, okay, this is introducing us to uh, the space aspect and, you know, yeah. mystic, yeah, you're right. like magic kind of before yeah, Doctor right. Strange. I agree. Then I agree. when we got Thor 2, it was so trash, but we were still so high on the MCU. They just mm -hmm. dropped another movie and we went and with it. And, and just to give with that, it was because of the fact Guardians of the Galaxy hadn't came out, so they hadn't yeah. established what space was going to look yep. like right, in right, right. the MCU. Yep. Yeah, and then when we get to Thor 3, which is Ragnarok, it changed everything because yeah. not only did you show us that Thor has another side, which is funny, yeah. like he was funny in Avengers and you know he had but a couple of lines in his movie, Ragnarok. Yeah. but Ragnarok was so great of a balance between action, comedy, and heart, and you got a chance to see the uh, transitioning of Asgard now moving to Earth instead of just being blown up because his sister and that prophecy, right? Mm -hmm. Now yep. Thor 4, whatever they're going to do with, uh, with Jane, because mind you, I don't watch trailers for great reason so i could be in the theater and have a good time but yeah. now this thor the motherfucker's back yoked up we're gonna see what threat he actually faces and then Yo, they dude. gotta give us something or whatever the next well movie also is overall. with thor's storyline and you know when you see how broken he was after you know infinity war and like everything that led up in end game you gotta remember thor is also on a new trying to find himself he doesn't yeah. want to be the norse god anymore he right. wants so he's trying to find where he stands that's why he left asgard you know in the hands of what's old girl's name i can't valkyrie. think of uh, valkyrie. Oh, valkyrie valkyrie yeah, yeah. valkyrie's hand because he was like look you run this i don't want to do this no more so now like i said with love and thunder it is truly like thor trying to find like like am i i don't know if i'm if i want to still be the superhero if i like i don't want to be the god anymore like i i need to find my place and that's why you know he latched on with Guardians of the Galaxy, like, okay, well, y'all exploring, and I, I need to explore, so let me go on this journey with you guys. So it's like, I'm excited about that, because it's like, we're going to get what is next for Thor, because right now, we don't really know what's next for Thor yet. And well, Thor, just to be honest, he can go for the next 10 years, mm -hmm. like, at least 10 years, because he's, he's yeah. young as hell, and he's, like, he's the last Avenger from the original six that is still active. Hawkeye and got old. They showed that shit yeah. in the series. This motherfucker got right. ice every day. Like he's the only one. Even the Hulk is he's old. Definitely got ice every day. Yeah, he you got know what I'm saying. He's but just the like only the, uh, But just like what Deuce was saying, not only does it introduce us to continue Thor's story, it continues us to learn what's out there in the universe of the yep. MCU. So it also gives us a chance to learn. I think what Thor will do will get us to learn more about planets mm -hmm. um, that are in the MCU that we're familiar with and stuff like that, as opposed to everybody else that's dealing with the celestial beings and introducing them there. And then also setting us up for what's about to happen with Guardians of the Galaxy and how their story is either going to continue or come to an end. But just like from what we know is supposedly supposed to be happening, there's so many other factors that's being opened into it. Like now we know, like even with like, are they going to introduce the symbiotes now? Because that's the one thing I'm very, very curious about because I feel like if they did what I think they did, mm -hmm. Marvel just played the slickest shit ever on Sony. <laughs> and figured out a way how to introduce Spider-Man's order to the MCU yeah. without them. Well, also, with when, once you start dealing with space travel, like Thor... Or Guardians of the Galaxy, one I I I'm I bet they're going to be the first people where we get either an Easter egg or a glimpse into a Galactus, the Silver Surfer, because they're already yeah. out there. And say, like you said, we're getting we're learning about planets, and we know that Galactus that's he's the planet eater. That's his whole thing. And so yeah. it's like you know you you travel far. Damn, <laughs> you travel you travel far in, and you start seeing certain. You know, universes and certain planets are being destroyed. You're gonna ask, like, what the fuck is going on? And then you learn about that. So that's why I was a little bit confused, though, because you know, because to me, it felt like Marvel was trying to move off the original six. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And you see, like, okay, you see in each each one of the original six, um, each one of their their protege, not really proteges, but each one of their, you know, like Sidekicks. again, Clint had Hawkeye yeah. and. Even though Scarlet, I mean, uh, what's her name? Scarlet Johansson or uh, what's her name? Black Widow died. Her sister is still, yeah, yeah, somewhat of a, yeah. of a of a fighter. You know, uh, don't forget, um, you know, um, what's his name? 
uh, I, yeah, Iron Man, we're going to get Iron Lad and, and, and Black mm -hmm. Panther and his legacy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're also going to, and then we also got, you know, War Machine, uh, Iron Wars. Yeah. We got, and we yeah. also, but also don't forget Captain America. We have the new successor to that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or it could be Isaiah Bradley, whoever they choose. But my thing is, I thought they were going to move off of Thor because it's like, all right, he's one of the original six. It's 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 kind of over. But what I'm hearing you guys saying, it's making a lot more sense to me. Is yeah, you can do a lot with Chris Hemsworth. Mm -hmm. you know oh yeah, and you can do a lot with space. Yeah, you know. Oh, yeah. That's why I was like, yes. I didn't think Thor was going to be a next big blockbuster because I'm like, okay, they're trying to move off Thor. Okay, I'll watch it because I'm an MCU fan. But I thought like the next movie that was going to like like let's let's be real. I didn't know how important I seen Age of Ultron when it actually came out. I wasn't mm -hmm. a MCU fan, but I was a fan of like the actual Avenger movies. Mm -hmm. And we don't we didn't know how much how much that movie really played a big part in the MCU. Oh, yeah. so now yeah. Mm -hmm. you realize like wow, Age of Ultron really was the movie that really set this whole shit off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, and, and, my it, thing, and my thing is I'm figuring out, okay, well, what's the next big and I'm thinking Kang is the next big thing. With with Ant Man and Quantum Mania, that's yeah. why that was why I said what I said. But here's shout the thing. Go ahead, uh, this is just real quick. I was gonna say shout out to whoever runs the Disney Plus algorithm because they yeah. do a really good job at like once you watch something, they re like they <laughs> link it back to an old movie, and you like, oh, now I see the connection. Like that was dope. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Um, so looking at it to go with Clint as far as like what shows that when you look at these films, man, Thor. From the original six has the I'm telling you, if Thor Ragnarok didn't do well, that would have been the end of it. But yeah, Thor yeah. Ragnarok did so well and it breathed new life into the character of Thor that he's yeah. gonna be around until he isn't anymore. Because it's like you got to look at every one of the actors too. Robert Downey Jr. was 40 when he got the role of Iron Man, and yeah. for that 10 years, like he stopped playing him at 52. Yeah, so then yeah. you look at uh Scarlet, I'm Scarlet, you start, yeah, Scarlett Johansson. She got that role, and then she's like, All right, look, I'm ready to set it out and have a family because her movie was way too they gave her her movie after Wonder Woman because they're like, Oh, I guess we should do something with you, even though we just yeah. killed the character too little too late. That was, then you, I didn't like that. I didn't like yeah, that. Yeah, it wasn't. They should have well, done that, that that the pandemic and the way they planned it. It was just it was all it was horrible. Bad. They should have Captain well, America. He should have came out before Endgame. Well, no, it was supposed to, but uh, well, no, 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 it was not before Endgame. It was supposed to come out a while back, but then something happened to where production got pushed back. They had to do Endgame, and then when it was supposed to come out as a filler after Endgame, so you know what happened in between those times, the pandemic hit. And yeah, then oh, so yeah, theaters yeah. got closed and in theaters, that's where like the actors mm -hmm. make their money from the yep. box office. And so they kept telling them like they're not going to put it on the streaming service and wait for it to go to theaters. But then something got happened in miscommunication and they it dropped them. years later. Yeah. And it dropped on streaming services and it didn't do as well as it could have in box yeah. offices. So where Scarlett didn't even really get her money for that film. And yeah. it came so late to the point where we just we didn't care anymore. Yeah, like the only thing, like the though. highlight of it was your family. Your sister was the highlight of the whole movie. Yeah, and she did great in the Hawkeye series. But then you look yeah. at Captain America. Captain America, Chris Evans was like, "All right, this was great, but now I want to go do some other stuff." It's like, "All right, yeah. cool, let's write this dude out." But you know, we could bring him back if possible. You can't bring back Iron Man. Well, you know, Robert wouldn't go back. And then you look at uh at the Hulk, and he as much He's as we about to be have, She Hulk. He's about to be a She Hulk. Yes. But as much as we have love for um Ruffalo. Ruffalo, he's not our Hulk. He was never our Hulk. We gave him love because of the tenure and them recasting, mm -hmm. but Edward Norton was our Hulk. Mm -hmm. So uh, Ruffalo was never going to be the dude that we wanted to see get a solo. So that's what I've aged him up so much to where it's like, all right, cool. Now you're more of a mentor. And also, though, to jump on that, though, I think one thing they may do, and what I noticed with Endgame, to combat that, to not have to worry about it no more, continue to keep him as Hulk. Right. And so I, the way I, Hulk does I like Ruffalo. I did, I did too, I, but like between him and Norton, though, and I think only because Norton got his own solo, yeah, you got to really get attached to him as Bruce Banner, like him being yeah. on the run, him mm -hmm. learning his heart palpitations to keep him yeah. from getting angry, even yeah. when he got 
angry. It was like, yo, like when Ruffalo did it, it was like, you're secure in it already. Yeah. So I can kind of see your wheels turn to where it was kind of like if you are in, in the comics when he was on that island and went crazy. Like you're already kind of tied into it. Like, well, I'm attached to this motherfucker. So yeah. here it is. This yeah. Is Ruffalo's it. whole. <sighs> Ruffalo's Hulk never sold me because I ne they tried to squeeze it in the Avengers movie, giving him his origin story mm -hmm. as far as how he is the Hulk, you know, with that whole opening scene. But he never showed me his heart. Like, why should I care about Mark Ruffalo yeah. as the Hulk is what I've always felt. Scarlet Witch, I mean, not Scarlet Witch, Scarlet Johansson, Black Widow, um... Her movie was too little too late because I love Scarlett Johansson as an actress, mm -hmm. but yeah. as a character of Black Widow, that movie should have happened right after Iron Man 1. Yep, it definitely yeah. should have. And it because like happened. because the, the, the way that's again, once you start, like I said, the, the whole thing about phase one was to give us, like I said, the love story of these heroes coming into their powers and stuff like that. Yeah. So like when we talk about the Hulk and we talk about Ed Norton, like you've seen the struggle, you like you like you felt like Hulk was fucking with him and he was like, but but he also wanted that power. Like you felt like that that relationship there with Ruffalo's Hulk. Like you said, he seemed too like too already calm with it. Even though yeah. they tried to show his struggle with it, his struggle didn't seem as struggle as Ed you Norton. Know what they did. They tried to continue Norton's story with Ruffalo. Yeah. And that's why it didn't work. Because it's like, I get it. You're replacing him. It's similar to Don Cheeto. And Terrence Howard, as far as War Machine, it's like Terrence Howard did all that groundwork, and Don Cheadle came in and just threw the suit on. Yeah. So it didn't feel but like he, he ever really earned it. But he didn't do a lot, though. But that was a different suit. Like Terrence Howard was a great feature, but it didn't feature him as War Machine. Right. It gave us a chance to get introduced to Cody Rhodes, and it wasn't a lot. So we didn't get to, to know a lot about him. Cody Rhodes. But, Oh my bad. <laughs> oh, my bad. I was just I was watching back Rose. earlier. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Man. <laughs> Colonel Shout out to Cody Rhodes. Yeah. <laughs> Colonel Shout out to Dusty Rhodes, man. Man, yeah, man the American right. dream. Man. Yeah, right. No, no, don't be. But so, uh, keep going. We got to learn. Yeah, but we got to learn. We got we didn't get a lot of Terrence. So right. when he got replaced, it wasn't as bad. But like how you said too, you didn't earn it, but I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you make it. I'm gonna but, let you rock. Right. Yeah, yeah, but for Edward Norton's, we we got to go on a ride with him, yeah. like him and, and and fucking William Hurt going after each other. Wow, the Tony yeah. talking, it was just like, and then you see Mark Ruffalo, and it's just like you can't help but think, man, imagine if this was Edward Norton talking to Robert Downey yes, and Ultron. Yeah. Imagine if this is Edward Norton yes. spitting game at Scarlet and stuff like that. Like you just feel that it was a different intensity. It, they the always drop the ball. And I'll give you even one further because they try to clean it up. We always born in World Flow, but Universal, all right, whatever. So looking at looking at the relationship of William Hurt, right? And Mark Ruffalo, they never even showed them clashing as far as all these Avengers movies went. And then the yeah. brother died. So it's like you dropped the ball over here. They gave more screen time with uh Rhodey and Tony Stark yeah. with William Hurt than they did Mark Ruffalo. So it's kind of like what what was this even for for you to bring back Hurt? Um, I agree with everything that you just said about Edward Norton and how we felt about him. But now you're telling us, hey, hey guys, just go with it because we're not giving him a Hulk movie solo. Yeah. He's too old, which is going to keep the shit moving and keep the train going. But that, let me give you this. Yeah. This is a Ooh. testament. This is a test. This whole Marvel universe is a testament to how great Robert Downey Jr. is. Because no matter what movie comes up, we still be like, this shit cool. But man, Robert Downey Jr. ain't in this motherfucker. Uh, yeah, yep. I agree. Yeah, that's how great yeah. he is, man. Yeah. Yep, I yeah. agree. So, uh, yeah, but before we get out of here, we just want to, uh, I want to, uh, wrap up just so after seeing everything that y'all seen in this movie with everything coming and stuff like that, what most are you looking forward to that you think is going to happen in the MCU further down the line, whether it be Disney Plus, whether it be the movies, or even like the little in between things that they give us? I'm gonna uh, go I'm first before Clint. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say I'm gonna start with CT because Clint's gonna make me think about something else. I'm gonna get my point. <laughs> so I think number one, Young Avengers is gonna be a Disney Plus series. They mm -hmm. definitely not gonna make that into a movie um, yes. because you know for movies to sell, you need people to sell them on, and the only person they have to sell us on that would be uh, 
was Kate Bishop and now America Chavez. I don't see any of the other actors who play the roles selling any tickets yet, but we will watch that series. Yeah. Um, I want to see more of a, an immediate build to Fantastic Four and X-Men because these are the two properties that we've been without that could have made uh, in, uh, that could have made Civil War better than any of the Avengers movies. If we had the X Men oh. and Fantastic Four, oh my god, that movie would have been that much greater, and it was already yeah. great. Yeah. So, um, I need those immediate builds, and I feel like I have no answer. I mean, after the Avengers movie, we knew it was Thanos. We knew how they were going to go towards it, but now. We we're to, we're arguing, deciding if it's going to be Kang or if it's going to be Galactus because we don't know. Yeah, yeah. but I'm excited. I right, uh, Deuce, what about you? So uh, similar to CT, like X Men and Fantastic Four for sure, because like Silver Surfer has always been one of my favorite characters in comic book history, and I can't wait to see how they actually bring him into the fold and everything. And I know that we have to get Fantastic Four into that, but I am really. I'm really interested on how they're actually going to bring the, the scrolls in because mm -hmm. at, at some point, like I said, they hinted that like the people that we've seen up until this point may not actually be the actual people. So mm. that's the case. I'm just like, like, the, the, like to go with what Dion said, I, I know I defended against it, but like, yeah, there's a lot of big storylines that are like, all right. Like what? Like when is the reveal going to happen? And when is that reveal going to happen to where we know we actually know who was real and who wasn't? So I'm still excited and trying to you know figure that out. But if I had to pick one for sure, um, I would say it is the 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 Fantastic Four aspect of it because like I said um you know we got the glimpse we they, the Illuminati was in the Baxter building so it was like oh snap like all right you know and so I assume that it was uh Mr. Fantastic Tech that created the Doom um uh that created the Ultron bots. I know we had we had kind of asked like who did it and I thought it was you yeah. know his his tech that did so but I'm like I I can't I want to see them do Fantastic Four right because like you said each like I said it was always like oh okay we got a good you know we got a good uh human torch and then like that was it you know and then you know the other one I, I don't think there was any good one the one that that last one that came out that last time they did the Fantastic Four so I want to see them do Fantastic Four right yeah and you already know my theory from the group chat yeah everybody's a fucking scroll. Bro, what if so when you talk go ahead, Clint Coley. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. No, that's a that's a crazy plot twist though. Yeah, I do want because like we do know we're supposed to be getting secret invasion. So we, we don't know who's a scroll. We don't know. The thing that I'm looking forward to the most is bro, I fell in love with the Loki series. And oh, I think fire. Loki's I think the Loki series to me is the key to the neck, like the if you I, I'm going to go on a limb. And I'm going to tell everybody, if you don't or didn't watch Loki, please revisit that. That, to me, is going to be what we look at, how we look at Age of Ultron in the next seven years, right? Here's why I like, here's why. Uh, Miss Minute said there was an all-out multiversal yep. battle. Timelines colliding over supremacy. That's what I'm looking for next. I'm looking for multiversal timelines to collide and fight. And I'm looking for Kang to I'm I, I can't wait to see Kang because I think he's going to be conquering multiple universes. Mm. I think we're going to get the Kang. We're going to get a motherfucker who is literally like winning. Like you thought Thanos was bad. This is about to be a whole different situation. And I think it's going to bring out, I think whoever said it earlier. Fantastic Four X Men. So I think all of that's mm -hmm. going to happen within the next five years, bro. But I think immediately payoff. They about to. They about to. We about to get introduced to Kang, and we about to get a real villain up in here that we ain't going. <laughs> CT, Loki. I see what you mean when you say Clint brings up yeah. stuff because now I got some other stuff I want to. That's say. what I'm yeah. saying. <laughs> so I'm glad I got the damn point up. Look, when you see Loki, Loki already they Loki. The oh, face CT. of left phone though. <laughs> Somebody screenshot that. Please. Yeah, nope. <laughs> that is no, a it's recording. It's recording. that is a perfect meme. <laughs> <laughs> My internet went out. 
Yours did? <laughs> no, not mine. I'm saying oh, I'm looking at CTs. Well, while CTs is is is. <laughs> oh shit, we still here. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, okay. so Pete, so when I look at uh Loki, they when they show the Infinity Stones. And there was literally drawers of them. And they were like, yeah, we use them as paperweights. I'm like, how many universes yes. did these stones come from, right? That's one. Two, when you say the multiversal wars and getting conquered, I want to see that as well. But it often makes me think, okay, if we play this like this, where is Loki? Because we know he's existing through all of this stuff. And we know that he has to pop up at some point during Ant-Man. He's going to because I believe, and real, maybe you guys believe this too, that the TVA is in the quantum realm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the quantum realm doesn't deal in the multiverse, and the quantum realm doesn't deal on a timeline. The quantum realm is its own separate situation, which means, which, too, also in, diff in different multiverses, there are more quantum realms, I'm, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, right? Or there should well, be. Well, you just you that that was gonna be my choice for uh for this one was what I was excited and looking forward to was actually Ant Man. Uh, I still think Ant Man is one of the most slept on movie characters in yeah. the MCU. I think he's had some of the best solo movies, right? Um, uh, but I get it from the grand aspect as why people may see that different. But I'm so looking uh looking forward to that because I think the quantum realm is one big massive realm. Mm -hmm. And I think it is something almost kind of like a highway that connects us to almost everything. And I think that's why we're going to find out what Kang has really been up to mm -hmm. using that quantum realm. Because just like how y'all said with everything else, remember what this does to you when you're in there. What happened to the original Wasp, Michelle Pfeiffer, when she was in the quantum realm. All these new powers that she got. The energy they were trying to pull from there before the Thanos snap happened and Ant-Man got stuck. What exactly is being drawn from there? What's being created from there? Or when when uh he who shall not be named gave us his story, was that where he pulled all that power from to uh trap uh Goliath? Goliath. So we that's what I'm really looking forward to, but just as yep. well as y'all to also include Fantastic Four. And also, I know this may just be me, but just so Kang is tied in, and just because of my office fetish that I love that series. I think Rashida Jones should be Sue Storm. Here's the I'm thing. I'm mad at that. I, I love, love Rashida Jones. But I it's not, I know it's not gonna happen. The CT it I, not be. Show up. I have a question. I Do the fan the, so we know uh Kang the Conqueror is a descendant of Reed Richards, right? That's A. Yeah. Does Kang the Conqueror in the comics have a do they have a does he have a conflict with the X-Men solo? Um Ooh, that I don't know. The that reason I'm why sure. I'm asking, the reason why I'm asking is because if we're talking about a next villain and we're talking about pulling all these things in, yeah, why can't he be the villain against the Fantastic Four and against the X-Men or, you know what I'm saying? Like, wh why not? He, he can, but just for the simple fact that you've released celestial elements, it makes him more, I mean, the thing is too, like Fantastic Four has defeated him numerous times, so it doesn't give you that full okay. level. And the only reason okay. why is because you kind of know what's coming, but also too, that's what makes it your weakness, because you think you know what's coming, and time mm -hmm. is always consistently changing. And so that's what helps them defeat him. So that's why I'm just like, how CT said, there's a higher yeah. being calling there. Mm -hmm. And so too, and then too, also, I think, you know, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy is maybe what introduces us to either Silver Surfer, a mm. glimpse of Silver Surfer, or something about Galactus. Because they also were talking about Nova getting introduced. So I think that's going to be, gonna be yeah. So I think that's going to be where we start to get our glimpse if Galactus is going to also start being a part of this realm. Because I believe Silver Surfer should definitely be shown a lot more before we see Galactus. Like, we know oh, yeah. he pulls his puppet strings, but we need to see the MCU not really know who pulls his strings, and he kicking ass. And, now, and so Kang, oh, I just want to, Kang does have a beef, well, not necessarily a beef with X-Men, but he was, um his his knowledge of the future and everything, he tried to go back and kill, uh, I'm going to butcher this name, uh, An Sabanur, and be, and with him trying oh, to kill him, Apocalypse. Yeah, Apocalypse. yeah, yeah. That, that's what created. Abba that's what created. Yeah, that's what created Apocalypse. And so he created the first mutant. 
it was it was it was a direct result of King. So it's like with that, you got to think about King it. goes back in time and becomes Pharaoh Ramatut too, right? Yeah. So with yeah. that, it's like it can be a love hate because obviously there's certain mutants who love to be mutants, but there's also you know mutants is it's a it's a. Mm. I right, CT, what you gonna say, bro? Um, we have no idea. Damn, but now you got me thinking too. What if he already did that? Right, that's he took me on a journey with that one. Yeah, like what if six one six is where that happened? Since right. you know, like we're dealing with Loki. What if he did in this one kill Apocalypse, and that's why mutants never happen? Ooh, Ooh. so now you gotta go back in time and save Apocalypse, <laughs> and that's how fucking mutants exist on six one six. That's that fucking incredible. incredible. Like, oh, you know. Right here, wow. straight on the oh. comic book. <laughs> If that ain't how wow. you close out a fucking and don't episode. Forget, don't forget, wait a minute, just to bring it more back home, there was a Pharaoh Ramatut Easter egg in Moon Knight. Yes. Yes. And, and there's, there's two Kang There's two Kang Easter eggs in Moon Knight. There's yes. one, and then there's another one where they, they uh, apparently- Don't say it. A, don't say it. Because I, yeah, now, now I got to watch it. it. Yeah, he hasn't seen it. But wait, so let me give you this. So this is the breakdown for uh, Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes when you find it. I think it's on Disney+. Plus. If it's not, it's on Netflix. I'm going to watch it but for sure. the thing is, you know, there are 52 episodes usually of cartoons. So with the animated series, how they started off is they built the cube in the uh, Avengers universe. They built the cube. And when they built the cube, they've locked up every single one of their villains right in the cube the most secure prison ever and soon as they do that they show kang like on looking right something happens the cube opens all cells and now the next 52 episodes are them trying to put every single one of them back in their cell so it's simple and it's brilliant when you watch it the only reason they stopped it is is literally the greatest marvel series i've ever seen and that's including over spider-man because of how streamlined the story was yeah. the reason it's super dope is i mean the reason they canceled it is because avengers the movie came out and all of the avengers and avengers of earth's mightiest heroes show everybody in the marvel universe compared to just the uh the movies so they canceled it and they started avengers assemble which was more about the movies into uh cartoons so earth's mightiest heroes i'm gonna watch yeah. it yeah, that's up there with Young Justice. I ain't even for it. That is that is up there. Fire, yeah. bro. I love yes, Young indeed. Justice. And it has an ending, so you'll like that. Yeah. Say yep. less. Say yep. less. I'm gonna watch it. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, you know these 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 three gentlemen are very busy, and I appreciate the time they took over here to come Man, talk I got to time us to talk stuff like that. that. I know, I know, y'all do. I got we're time, gonna dog. <laughs> we're gonna definitely continue to have these clips. We'll definitely have you back on here to talk more. Not only Marvel. Hopefully, we can get you into the DC world, got so to. you can come uh, talk with us on DC stuff as well. Oh, but before y'all get out of here, you know, of course. Do CT, y'all know what it's like, man. Just want y'all to be able to let people know what you got coming up. Shout out, Deuce. I'm gonna let you go first. Yeah, right, go so first. Goal man. scores is seven years ago. <laughs> 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 nah. <laughs> nah, just go ahead, man. Follow me at young underscore deuces everywhere, man. We got a lot of stuff that we're working on. Everything is updated there. So, yeah, just go ahead and go follow me on all on those social media profiles, man. And make sure y'all like and comment. I'm on this wave of trying to get more people. I we, we get a habit of seeing people's stuff and not hitting like and comment. So if you see anything post from anybody on the show or just in general or you, anybody support, make sure you like and comment because those actually mean something a lot. So. Uh, Deuce, one thing I'll tell you, I'm sure uh, someone told me a long time ago that helps with that. If you, uh, when they comment, comment back and let them know, hey, thank you so much for watching. It helps so much. And the person who told me that almost four or five years ago is on this uh, other Zoom, Mr. CT. I'll never forget you told me that. And what's funny is the Frost Lounge where Clint was performing and you said that and I never forgot those words. Yo, let me tell you something, man. It's it's so true because people comment and they, you know, and this is good or bad because a lot of times people leave negative comments thinking that you only go respond to those. But the people who say something positive, man, I immediately saw my number shoot up from beyond the content, but just my comment numbers because you talk back to those people and they're like, oh man, this dude is cool. Or thank you for not ignoring me because everybody always ignores people. And I've gotten away from in the past couple of years just because of timing. I might not be up mm -hmm. when the video drops or I might be busy, but it's like, man, 
when you engage in the audience, they engage back. It's all love. And it teaches yeah. your audience. If you acknowledge the negative people more than the positive, you're going to get more negative people. But the minute I would do something petty, I would respond to every positive comment and leave that one negative comment unresponded to. And then the following week, you wouldn't see any negative comments because they're starting to catch on. Oh, he only talked back to the people to say cool shit. Exactly. I got yeah. time for that bullshit. But um, patreon.com slash CT is dope. And I appreciate you, Deuces, for keeping this shit short and sweet. I, res I respect that. Appreciate it, bro. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Appreciate you, Hey, <laughs> Clint, you up. Oh, man. What's up, man? Clint Coley. Um, listen, I just want to throw out one thing. If you are a spades player, uh, I'm the creator of the World Series of Spades. Uh, we just got added to the Roots Picnic in Philadelphia. If you are nice. coming to the Roots Picnic, uh, yeah, you are you 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 and your partner come on through. Uh, winner is the East Regional Champion, and you get an automatic spot on the next season of the World Series of Spades. You get a trophy, and you get a five hundred dollar grand prize. So, if any more any of you guys you know that's listening, play spades. You come into the Roots Picnic, boom, that's it. Man, when are you gonna produce? A show for me, nigga. You're fucking amazing. This nigga Clint Coley, everything he touched turned to go. Produce one of these shows, man. Yes, man, you know, I'm touch. around, man. <laughs> Midas touch, but yes, and some things they did. Uh, uh, make sure uh, you check him out also too on tour right now. My edible kicked in, yes, it is going sir. strong. Go check out Clint Coley's uh socials to make sure that tour is happening. Uh, where, yes, where they're gonna yes. pop up as well. And also in the comments below, even though it did happen earlier this week, please wish CT a happy birthday going around the world. Once again, yeah. sir, happy birthday to you. Glad Thank to you, have brother. you here. Glad to know you as a person. And make sure y'all put those in the comments below. And y'all know me. Uh, Will Farrell, everything on socials, continue to support this uh, show as well as All Death Cannabis. And then, of course, RK Tokens is coming back, expanding in the universe, new shows, same shows, new talent, all kind of things are coming for that same great blurred feel. We want to thank y'all for tuning in, and we will catch you next time. I've been doing hella fucking drugs.